What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today we are going to be covering more Dragon Ball news of course, so let's get straight into all the juicy V-Jump stuff that we talked about yesterday in the translation video, but now we've actually got some pictures to show for it, and there's a couple little changes, but I mainly do want to begin into a big discussion about potential leader skills, passives, and teams, that kind of stuff, okay? Real quickly though, as for anyone who might watch my streams, as you guys know, I stream things like Super Smash Brothers and mostly Fighters also, which I do plan to be doing a little bit after we get through the initial Joker hype and everything. Uh, Super Saiyan 4, or technically Kid Goku, is coming to Fighters, and when is his level 3 Meteor Smash will be the transformation into Super Saiyan 4 and into the Dragon Fist right there. I know some people are disappointed that Super Saiyan 4 is not a standalone character, but at least he's somewhat making it into the game. Kid Goku, I know a lot of other people want him to be more of the Dragon Ball type and not the Dragon Ball GT type, but I have a feeling that's more due to the whole flying mechanics when you do a Dragon Rush. So, it made more sense to have Kid GT Goku. At least he still has the power pole, though. And who knows, maybe there'll be some kind of secret costume, like with Adele with the pigtails and everything like that. Um, but he will be coming in May, around probably Golden Week. It just simply says Golgatsu here, which is May. It doesn't say late or early, so I'm going to assume maybe around the 10th or so is when we could potentially be in Kid Goku. Uh, you can pick him up for 500 yen or 499 uh, in US dollars. So, anyway, he should be a fun character if you want to go and get him. I'm personally not going to, I don't really plan on playing as him, but I am waiting for the potential rumor that Janimba is the next character coming up. Hard to say what's coming up next though, obviously that's all rumors and everything, we can get into something about that later, but nonetheless, that's what's coming. So, without further ado though, let's get into the main uh, body of the video, because I know a lot of you are going to be asking about this, and that is of course, this scan right here, the dual Doken Fest for Golden Week in Japan, on the JP version of the game, is going to be of course, Zamas and Trunks. Now. One thing to say right now, because I know a lot of people on Global will be asking, will this be coming to Global 2? No, it has been officially confirmed by a lot of other people that Global, you are getting Int Goku Black, okay? He is coming, I don't know exactly when, but sometime in early May, you will be getting Int Goku Black. So, this Golden Week stuff is only for JP. Global, you're getting Goku Black and probably some other EZA or something like that, okay? So, I'm sorry if you guys were trying to maybe hope that they would be doing more and more of this uh, you know, JP and Global stuff together. I personally wish they were too, but again, something like Golden Week is very special and unique to Japan, the country itself, not just simply a game, so it wouldn't make much sense to then also do that with the, you know, the global release of the game, so... Uh, potentially do something in the summer, maybe, or if we hit that 300 million downloads, who knows, we might be something like that, so... Anyway, let's take a look at what we got here, okay? So, we've got, obviously, a huge celebration with Golden Week coming up because we have the whole changing of the emperors and everything like that, the changing of the eras here in Japan. It's like 10 days off here, so expect a lot of cool stuff to be coming our way, okay? Now, I did an initial translation video yesterday, and I took a look at it, and I was like, okay, so basically we get a Trunks who can transform into a Super Saiyan. Zamas can go uh, Gatai Zamas, which is Mard Zamas. But that's pretty much it. We didn't really know anything else about it. And again, the scans here are not giving us the leader skill or anything, but I do want to discuss about that based maybe on a few things that we see here. Um, one thing I do want to state as also is that try not to look at some of the colors around like the rims or something like that, or say like, oh, in this particular screenshot right here, it's got some blue around it, so that means it's going to be AGL, or maybe this color right in here means, you know, it's going to be tech or something like that. Don't, don't think about it that way, okay? Wait, types are something that we should always think of last. Types can be whatever they want to be at the end. We all wish it can be something, but overall, it will might potentially be something else, okay? Um, so anyway, so let's go ahead and quickly go through a couple things that I know might be confusing a lot of people because uh, just the way that the translations were yesterday from the data that we are given, okay? So first off, we get a base form Zomus, we get a base form Trunks, okay? So we get an SSR Zomus, SSR Trunks, they Doken Awaken still into either just normal Zomus or base Trunks, okay? So right there, automatically, you'll be able to run any kind of Super Saiyan Trunks right there that has potentially the same future name, if you want to go ahead and do that. So that's po totally possible, of course, depending on what the leader skill is, but most likely, you would still be able to run them together. So they're probably going to be very close to best linking partners already. Zomus will be able to be run, obviously, with like STR Rosé, AGL Rosé, Int Goku Black, physical if you're still running that. I mean, I know he's supposed to get his EZA sometime soon, but I still don't see physical Goku Black really being that particularly good. I still think Rosé is still one of the most diverse and best units in the entire game, except for especially on Extreme. So uh, the only downside to the Zamas, of course, is that if you wanted to, you can't run into Zamas. 
And as we all know, Inzomus is a very good shield. He's a very good blocker. He's actually pretty, you know, he heals you on your super attack and everything. Not the strongest card by any means, but hey, he's still a really good card, actually. So that's going to be the one downside when it comes to this Inzomus, okay? Not a big one, just a little small one that I did notice when I was taking a look at this, okay? Now, what's going to happen is, is you have these little, you have this little kanji here that says, Battle Nakani. Henshin, okay? So they are initially going to have a transformation during battle, like most of these transformation units have, okay? So something like maybe four turns, it could be three turns, it could be below be below 80% health or something like that, and boom, you're going to transform, okay? We don't know what those criteria are just yet. We'll have to wait and see what the cards are going to say, but I'm hoping, I am hoping that Zomus is only going to be like maybe three or four turns at most, and Trunks is between four, I know potentially five is probably more likely, but I don't want him to be five. But I'm hoping that Trunks is around four as well, okay? So, because again, just every mode in the game currently right now is you barely get to round five. Six is almost impossible unless you're purposely trying to delay, even on things like Super Battle Road and everything, so... Anyway, so anyway, you will get in battle, so however, whatever it works, again, it better not be HP, I really hope it's not HP. Certain amount of turns go by, HP, percents, chances, whatever it might be, they will transform in battle, both of them, okay? So Zomus will be going to Guttai Zomus, which is just Fuse Zomus, okay? Right here, I need to say it. And then Trunks will simply go Super Saiyan. So Super Saiyajin Trunks Mirai, okay? So obviously Mirai Trunks or Future Trunks Super Saiyan. Technically, he is in his Rage Super Saiyan Trunks in that weird transformation that he got in the show and everything like that. But in Dokken, they have always called it the exact same name. So even the LR free-to-play Trunks that is Super Saiyan from after he defeated Cell, and this particular Trunks in Super Saiyan, those like SCR cards and tech cards and everything like that, those are under the same name. So you cannot run those together. But thankfully, because Trunks is again is in his base form at the beginning, you can run one of those Super Saiyan Trunkses and this new Trunks coming, okay? So anyway, somehow they're going to transform into battle and you're good to go, okay? Then, on top of that, you have an active skill. You have an active skill, okay? And then, again, we don't know exactly how your active skill is going to activate. You know, is it, so, is it going to be something as simple as Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta, where they have to go past four turns? Is it going to be like the Kid Goku, where it's like, what, 50, below 50% health? Which I really hope it's not. Anyway, you'll activate those active skills, and then they transform again. So you get to determine when that second transformation happens, which is pretty cool. And you're gonna get merged, corrupted merge Zomus, I guess as he's technically called. And then, which is funny enough, because in Japanese it's still simply Gatai Zomus, which is Fuse Zomus. So I don't know, it, it is what it is. I'm not a fan of the purple arm, you guys know that. But and then Trunks gets, of course, his big spirit sword. Okay, so you'll transform there. It is a dual Doken Fest. It's a double Doken Fest where we'll have two banners. One obviously is gonna be extreme. One obviously is gonna be uh, super type. Trunks' banner is a little hard to guess of what will potentially be seen. I swear to God, they put Inch Trunks on that banner. Oh, the trolling is going to be ridiculous on that banner. It 100% is, okay? Zomas' is a little bit easier to kind of picture and see what they're going to do. Obviously, for both banners, they'll have their SR forms where Trunks will get, pro you know, will have some, you know, SR Trunks. Zomas will, will easily have that AGL Zomas, who's just an SR unit. Uh, but in terms of the extreme banner here, we're probably going to see Into Goku Black. He's due for another, you know, uh, coming back. He hasn't been back yet before. Uh, we'll obviously probably see STR Rose. AG over Rose, kind of hard to say if we'd see him, but definitely STR we're probably going to see. We could potentially see the Tech Merge Zomus. Um, let's see. Obviously, the new Zomus is going to be coming, and it would be a huge troll if they put the STR one in there. Probably Int will be on there as well, but if they put the STR one as a feature card, oh, oh, man, that's going to be... That's going to be dangerous right there, okay? So, anyway, and then Trunks is, again, a little bit harder to look at. Probably STR Trunks will be featured on that banner. Um, if I had to take a while to guess at some of the other cards, which is pretty hard, it's honestly pretty hard to guess what we can potentially see. Maybe SSBE Vegeta. Um, Tech Vegito is definitely a huge possibility because, again, all of this is the, during that same exact time. That's when, tech, that's when Vegito Blue was originally uh, shown off. Um, it's, again, really difficult to kind of see what you can see with Trunks, okay? So, that's how the card itself is going to work. Again, we don't know what the passive skills are just yet. We don't know what the essays are going to do. And we don't know what the leader skill is. Speaking of the leader skills, though, I've got a theory about what they potentially be, okay? 
Trunks is a little bit easier to guess on. Murzamas, not so much, but we'll have to take a look here, okay? So, guys, by the way, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments what you think their leader skills are going to be. If you want to take a wild guess at their super attacks and their passive skills, by all means, go ahead. Passive skills are a lot harder, but I might take a dip at it in a bit here, okay? First off, leader skill for the Trunks. Half Sands category. It's going to, I'm hoping, at least, I'm hoping, they're going to be a dual categories, okay? Hit was a dual category leader. Obviously, the Gogeta and the Broly were dual categories. Uh, Goku, the kid Goku himself was a dual category lead. The only one who wasn't was the LR Super Saiyan 4, Goku and Vegeta, okay? So it stands to reason that the Trunks will be a dual category lead, okay? So half stands, down, hands down, they need a new leader. Uh, SDR Gohan, he's just too old, okay? The whole defensive route and everything like that, not the greatest thing in the world. 130% is not that much, okay? So I'm definitely going to say something around the lines of maybe 150% all stats around to hybrid sands, or it could be one of those 170 HP and defense, and then maybe 150 attack or something like that. I don't know. They still want to keep in line with that hybrid sand defense road, I guess, or something like that, okay? And then for the second part, I think he's going to be a future category, okay? Uh, let's just face it. Future Gohan, unfortunately... The card itself, the category itself, is basically Realm of Gods with a few changes in there. And not many people run Physical Gohan. In fact, like, very few people run Physical Gohan as a leader. I mean, granted, he's only been around maybe twice or something like that. But nonetheless, no one really runs him, unfortunately. Trunks, I can definitely see more people running, especially if he has that half sand category also on him. Because, again, a lot of people will try to run the Super Battle Road stage for half sands. Or you try to run this team or this team. And, again, dual category leads you're more likely to see than someone with only simply one category lead, okay? So I definitely think Trunks is going to be those two particularly, okay? If it was something else, I actually don't know. I mean, again, half, half sands is pretty much a given. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and just say right now, calling it half sands, no problem, okay? Future category, maybe time travelers category, but I want to kind of put that time travelers category more towards Zamas actually, which I do want to get into now, okay? So Zamas is, I think Zamas is gonna be a new Realm of Gods category. I know UI Goku has been the king for that, 150% across the board, no problem, but every other category for the most part almost has two leader skills, at least the big ones at least. So I personally think he will get Realm of Gods as one, because again, he is a god, so why not? Would make sense. I don't know if they would change it. They're obviously going to change it up, right? Probably 170% in attack and HP or something like that. 150 in defense or something along those lines, okay? So we're definitely going to get something like that, I think. So uh, Realm, Realm of Gods for that one category. And then for the second category, I think it's either going to be something new. I don't know what. It'd be something new, though. And then I think he will get... Um, well, a lot of people were actually saying he could potentially get Patara, which I can kind of see. I mean, obviously, he's in the Patara category already. I just, I really don't know what to expect there. Um, and then Time Travelers. I think he'll definitely get Time Travelers if I had to take a wild guess at one of those. If I had to take one of those two categories, I would definitely lean more towards Time Travelers. Um, obviously, I know it's more of a newer category, and we technically got it twice already with the Int Goku Black and the LR, but the LRs are not on this banner, obviously. So... I don't know. It's Goku Black, again, coming back, though. Maybe it wouldn't make much sense to have him be that category at the same time. It's it's hard to say. I, I, I don't you know. It, obviously, this is all guessing. This is all discussion parts on my part. But I personally think uh, it could definitely have a decent chance at being Time Travelers and then uh, either Patara or Future or something like that, okay? Again, I'm not really sure. In terms of typing, though, what I want their types to be, I hope, you know, that Trunks himself, I hope he's physical, actually. I kind of want him to be physical. And Zamas, I hope he is either STR or he is tech. Those are my hopes for those guys. Now, one thing I was talking about with Nolar, if you guys know him from the community, of course, he is a pretty big whale. He has a lot of rainbows and everything like that. Uh, he was thinking that they're simply just going to swap the types. Okay. Obviously, these guys were released two years ago in their int and tech form. So he's thinking that, okay, Zamas is going to be int. And then Trunks will be tech, which I can kind of see Zamas with the int and everything like that. Although that basically makes the int Zamas obsolete, which is going to suck. I mean, obviously, him is he's going to be obsolete no matter what happens. But still, it kind of sucks that he had to be he had to be the same type. Uh, Trunks being tech, though, that's a weird one because tech is very over in a flash heavy and trunks really wouldn't work on that now i know i'm thinking about type you know teams and most of you face on or we deal with categories these days but a lot of people still do run types especially again for super battle rider you try to just run a team that you particularly want to try and everything like that 
Trunkstone tech wouldn't really work, so I don't know. You can still easily be tech, you know, it's easily a possibility. And there are a decent amount of prepared for battle units and everything, but Trunks has never gotten uh, over in a flash. So I think he's going to be physical. I hope he's physical. <coughs> and I hope that the Zamas is going to be either tech or STR. So, uh, as in terms of passives, I just hope Trunks is not going to be a nuker. I hope he's not, and I hope Zomus is somewhat powerful. Zomus has never really had a powerful card, so I hope he does. I mean, Gutai Zomus, Fuse Zomus, this dude is powerful, right? He's supposed to be powerful, so I hope that he is pretty powerful in the card himself. And then, again, I hope Trunks is going to be uh, a pretty powerful card. I don't know, something like, you know, attack and defense up 100%. Don't be it where every, you know, if they want to do something where they have to be attacked to increase their attack or something like that, that's fine. I don't mind that particularly, getting attacked it raises your attack. Um, because a lot of the battles these days you do, but don't make it like when he comes back in the next turn, then his attack goes up. Don't be an int Goku Black. Int Goku Black is so slow and nobody really likes him in, until he's finally transformed, but you never see him transform. So yeah, it is what it is. So anyway, those are my thoughts, guys, about what the cards could potentially be. First time ever we're getting dual transformations in terms of one transformation in battle and one via an active skill, which you are allowed to pick and everything like that. I'm going to probably delay the Zamas one quite a bit, but we'll have to wait and see. Let me hear your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, which banner are you going to summon on? Both, none, one or the other. Again, let me know your thoughts down below. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Until next time, everyone, I'll see you all in the next one.